So if you want to learn more about a certain topic, would you search for it on Google and go through pages worth of links or would you just ask ChatGPT? What AI has done is drastically changed the way we search the internet. We've gone from clicking links to asking ChatGPT questions, which inherently makes the process more convenient. But what if you could use AI to do more, like filling up your forms, book your flight tickets, make reservations and more, all by just talking to the web? Enter AI Agents. AI agents are simply a virtual assistant who can perform functions for you according to your commands or prompts, like summarizing an article, booking flight tickets, but for the longest time, all of these were separate entities. ChatGPT was a browser tab or an app, AI agents were inaccessible or beyond the knowledge of the common public, and internet surfing was happening primarily on Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So it just made sense for these tech giants to bring all of these together, and AI-powered or agent to AI browsers were born. Recently, OpenAI launched its own browser, ChatGPT Atlas. One quick glance at it is a familiar browsing experience like you have known internet browsing to be. You can watch videos on YouTube, you can read your news and everything else that you normally do on your browser. It even has all the features that a standard browser has. But here's the kicker. As soon as you open the browser, you can either enter in URL or just talk to ChatGPT like you previously would and it will give you personalized results. Whenever you open a website, you can ask ChatGPT questions right there or prompt it to write something or perform tasks for you. ChatGPT sees the page you're on, understands its context, reads your web history and logged in websites so the responses can cater to what you're doing. So for example, if you're researching on a particular topic and have multiple tabs open on that same topic, ChatGPT can summarize and compare the data for you. It remembers your past work, so it will modify its responses based on that, automate repetitive tasks and build from where you left off. And all of this is happening while you're talking to it, just like talking to a friend. Pro and Plus users, which are ChatGPT's paid plans, get access to its AI agents, whereby it can book your flight tickets, order groceries and more. ChatGPT Atlas is only the latest in the line of AI-powered browsers that have joined this new age browser wars. Before this, Perplexity launched its own AI browser, Comet, for free in India, offering features similar to ChatGPT Atlas. There are several others and with time, more will join the fight. Why? Because the way we use the internet has fundamentally changed. We want as many of our tasks automated as possible, we want quicker and better curated results without having to go through thousands of pages, and we want convenience. It is this convenience that the tech giants are cashing in on. And all of this sounds great, right? It is opening doors to a whole new world of possibilities and seemingly making our lives so much easier. Imagine booking your next Eurotrip itinerary is as easy as conversing with a friend over coffee. But, and there's almost always a but when it comes to new technology, there's a severe security concern with AI embedded browsers. Brave Browser security team released a report on October 21st, which highlighted these concerns, mainly that of prompt injection. Traditionally, the browser and the computer you're using are in some way two different entities. But these AI browsers blur the lines between these two by being able to control your browser, fill out forms and passwords using data stored on your computer. Brave's report highlights two important case studies. First, Publicity's Comet can follow instructions or text hidden in images that it screenshots. Second, asking fellow browser to visit a site with instructions will cause the LLM to process and obey those instructions because it treats those instructions on the website as trusted. According to the report, here's the scary part. AI browsers can take unauthorized actions with the user's authenticated data. So an agentic AI browser can actually be hijacked by a malicious site and access all of a user's banking data, work emails and other sensitive accounts. And all of this is happening unknowingly or even unsuspectingly. Like for example, when you're trying to summarize a Reddit thread. It must be noted here that ChatGPT Atlas contains what it calls agentic containment, strict controls that stop the AI from running code, downloading files or touching on your local system, which is triggered upon visiting any sensitive website. As online technology evolves to make our lives easier, online threats evolve at a similar pace too.